Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. We only see the son of Gobe is my name and I hope I find everyone well wherever they are. Uh, I just want to talk to uh, people who have been sending us inquiries uh, as to the latest on the police and Department of Home Affairs as well as Department of Labor operations, especially at certain workplaces where they've been touring uh, and uh, laying off people work and also arresting certain people that we found without documents. So we've been receiving uh, inquiries from people via WhatsApp, via Facebook, and via phone calls as to how long this is going to last and what it means to those who have the Zimbabwe exemption permit because there are others who say that they have also been laid off. Uh, so this is what I'm going to talk about. But before I go ahead, I would like to request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Uh, what we know so far is that there has been a serious uh, operation by various departments in South Africa. You know that there has been a widespread outcry, uh, especially from ordinary South Africans that have been crying that they are losing jobs to migrants especially those that are not documented or those that are documented but not uh, legally allowed to work in south africa i'm talking here about people who are having let's say 90 days or those that are on different permits that do not allow them to work in south africa so there has been a widespread outcry and this has given rise to right-wing movements like Operation Tutula, like uh, right-wing political parties like the Patriotic Alliance and Action SA that have used migration as a campaign tool to gain political capital. Uh, so people have been asking how far this is going to last, how long this is going to last, how far is it going to go, and what does it mean, especially to those that hold the Zimbabwean exemption permit. So what we know so far is that the operations are going to intensify not only on the streets but also especially uh, in a number of companies that is uh, restaurants which are believed to be employing mostly undocumented uh, migrants. Uh, we are talking here about also various uh, companies that are strewn around South African cities. So we are told that uh, among many departments uh, is the Department of Home Affairs, is the Department uh, of Employment and Labor, uh, and other compliance department uh, departments. You you you've seen probably some videos where uh, some restaurants has been shut had been have been shut down because they were found to be employing uh, unregistered uh, migrants uh, or undocumented migrants that do not have. Uh, the legal documents to work there. I'm talking here about people who don't have passports at all. I'm talking here about people with passports but without the uh, work permits uh, and without asylum seekers permits. So a number of them have been arrested, others have been sentenced uh, and they've been deported. Others, some are, in, I'm told, are at Sun City, especially for those that are based in Gauteng. There are many others that have appeared in court. Some were released and many others were, according to what we hear, which we haven't yet verified, uh, were sentenced to, to a few months uh, imprisonment after which they will be deported back to their home countries. It's not only Zimbabweans that they are targeting, although we are told that uh, Many Zimbabweans, especially in areas like uh, Johannesburg, have been arrested, as well as others, of course, of Malawian origin, Mozambican origin, they've also been arrested. But now, if you have the Zimbabwean exemption permit, your permit is still valid up to the 31st of December, whether, whether you have applied or you have not applied for a waiver, for example, extension or a general work visa. But if you have applied, for a waiver and you have been granted that particular waiver it means that your permit is now valid up to the uh 28th or rather 25th of june i have to verify that one but it's in june 2025 but that doesn't mean you have to rest uh, until june you need to if you have been granted a waiver apply as soon as you can for a general work visa so that that uh, 
period that moratorium becomes the waiting period before you can get your general work visa. You may know, uh, you may want to know as well that being granted a, 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 a waiver doesn't automatically mean that you're going to get the general work visa that you apply for. You might be rejected and you need to appeal. So you need that grace period to do everything that you can or to then migrate to the Zimbabwe, uh, to the ZEP extension if you have been denied the general work visa, which I'm not saying is going to happen. So you need not put yourself in a catch-22 situation whereby you cannot uh, then uh, maneuver around a rejection. So this is what is happening. But there are also those who are on the ZEP who say that they've traveled to Zimbabwe and when they came back, they were given a number of days at the border. Just ignore those days. You have a permit. That ZEP extension by merely being given a moratorium means that you are here legally up to the particular time where the moratorium ends. But the minister said that if they fail to meet the deadline, they are going to, ex uh, to extend it. They haven't done that, but he said they're going to do it well in time before the expiry of the ZEP. You will remember that the last moratorium that was given uh, was given after the lapse of the time that was given prior by uh, Dr. Aaron Mutsualete. So the minister, the new minister, that's just Dr. Leon Shepa, has promised to do it uh, at an earlier date. So this is what we had. We are going to continue uh, inquiring more about what you send us, the questions that you send us, so that we come back here with correct information. But for now, this is where we end it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it.